Welcome to Televised Carnage's first episode of Product Pit Stop, where we will be reviewing Dashland's dashboards. I'd like to talk about a couple of the options that I found before finding the Dashlands dashboard. The first one was what you'd find in the back of the rule book, and it actually worked really well for a long time. And if you're beginning, please start with this one. It is great. It's very simplified and easy to use. Unfortunately, it does not have a whole lot of information on it. So I was looking for something with a little bit more to it. On the Gaslands website, there's a link to a team builder that I actually still use today when I'm building my teams. Uh, and it, can make its own dashboard straight from the, the website. Uh, and it was really good to use. It looks something very similar to this. There's a lot of information on here. It was very well put out. Unfortunately, I was still looking for something with a little bit more playability to it than this. There's a section on the Dashlands website that tells you about why they made the dashboard they did. And it really came from playing the game. They decided that the number of dice and tokens, especially in such a fast paced game, was kind of confusing. And it really took away from the atmosphere. Having come from games like Guild Ball and Malifaux that use stack cards, they thought this idea was perfect for Gaslands, so they decided to make their own dashboard. They tested and refined it multiple times until they came up with the product that you'll see today. Now we're going to break down the Dashlands dashboard so I can show you exactly what's on it. The dashboard's broken up into several different spots. The top is the name, the type, and the sponsor of the vehicle, and next to that, the amount of cans that vehicle is going to cost. Next area down is the weapons and upgrades and whatever ammunition may be associated with those weapons and upgrades. Next to that on the right hand side is four circles, the top being build slots, then crew, then weight, and lastly the handling of the vehicle. The next blank area is your perks and notes. I found it useful to put things that I may need to know throughout the game in this area. The last section at the bottom is actually the section you're going to utilize the most for erasing things, and that's why they put it on the bottom. That way it was the most accessible and you're not erasing other information. And that's your hole points, your hazards, and the gear of the vehicle. Now that we know what's on it, I would like to talk a little bit about how I use it in the game and why I think you'll enjoy it too. As you can see here, I've written on the card in a regular sleeve that you may find for like Magic the Gathering cards. And then I put that inside of a top loader, which then I can use a dry erase marker on to write over it and making sure I don't erase any of that data I put on that regular card sleeve. You can then just use your finger throughout the game to erase any data that you need to. It's really simple and really user friendly. As you can see, it's pretty simple to use. And a couple of things I really love about it is the fact that it eliminates all the dice and tokens. Everything you need is right there in front of you. And if you are starting out and teaching new people, it seems pretty basic and easy to use for them as well. A couple of the cons I noticed was that you do have to use a little bit of shorthand on it. So that may be an issue, especially if you're teaching new people and there's a little bit of limited space for writing. But I really think you can get around that, especially once you get a little bit more knowledge and a little bit better into the rule set. The main reason I started Product Pit Stop with the Dashlands dashboard was because of how cool the Dashlands team was to me. Uh, being a father and a hobbyist on a budget means that I can't just buy things not knowing if I'm going to like it or not. Luckily, the Dashlands team was so cool, they made a sample for me to try out. And since then, they put this sample on their website for any of you to try out as well. And it gave me the full playable value without actually having to buy anything. They're so confident in their product, they think that if you try it out, you're going to buy some just like I did. They have several different dashboard packages on their website that you can order from. I personally went with the fully loaded package, which was over 70 cards. It came with four of each sponsor for normal vehicles and one for each sponsor with a war ring. And that includes the ones out of Gasland's refueled rulebook as well. That's it for Televised Carnage's first product pit stop. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed bringing you a review of something that I found really useful. And I have some more in line, especially if this is something that you guys want to see.